député de Mégantique. The Honourable Member for Mégantique Lérable. Well, Mr. Speaker, after eight years of this Liberal Prime Minister, Canadians' financial situation has never been so precarious. After eight years of this Liberal government, 44 percent of families say that they wouldn't be able to handle an unexpected $500 expense. After eight years of Liberal promises, nearly half of people between 35 and 44 are having trouble meeting their financial needs. Will this Prime Minister finally get that it is he, him and his inflationary policies that are responsible for this crisis? When will he stop harming Canadians? The Honourable Minister of Sports. Well, Mr. Speaker, since this government has been here since 2015, we have lifted 2.7 million people out of poverty with measures that support the most vulnerable. We know that times are difficult right now, and that is why we are offering support to help families bring their children to the dentist in order to make child care cheaper throughout the country. We will be there to support Canadians. Each time the Conservatives vote against that. The Honourable Member. Mr. Speaker, will this Prime Minister finally understand after eight years of not answering questions in this House that he won't help be able to help Canadians by blaming Conservatives? Inflation is breaking records. Food costs so much that Canadians are skipping meals. Middle class workers are having to go to food banks because they don't have enough money to pay their bills anymore. And that's without even mentioning the cost of gas, mortgages, or rent. Will this government finally shoulder its responsibility instead of spending all its time blaming other people? The Honourable Minister of Tourism, Mr. Speaker, over and over in this House, the Conservative opposition had a chance to vote for Canadians. When we lowered taxes on the middle class, what did the Conservatives do three times? They voted against. What did they do when we gave people a 500 housing supplement? They voted against. What did they do when we offered more money to Canadian workers from coast to coast? They voted against. We are taking action to support Canadians, and the Conservatives vote against that. The Honourable Member for Belay Chambly. Mr. Speaker, the provinces, territories in Quebec asked for $28 billion a year in the health care system, but they only got $4.6 billion. I understand that they didn't have any option. It was a take-it-or-leave-it offer. But in order to build a proper health care system, in order to reduce wait times in our ERs, in order to reduce surgery wait times, in order to help people fa facing mental health issues, the provinces wanted $28 billion. Is $4.6 billion really enough? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Health. I'd like to thank my colleague for the question. Our plan lays out three key commitments for premiers in order to receive funding. And there is also the existing health care transfer increase. One of these requirements is to ensure that health care information is shared. We are as also asking for commitments within tailored bilateral agreements. The Honourable Member for Belleuil, 